You're not the only guy to have an operation to be stuck in a house for a week or to be out of a job. Dry up, and I hope you ain't got your butt in my chair. No, I'm sitting on the couch, aren't you? Because <laughs> I'm coming down, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what Edith says. I'm coming down, Edith. And bring me a beer. A beer, a beer, a beer. <laughs> not in a minute, right now. Or I rip out my stitches. <laughs> hey. Canal boats over the coffee table. <laughs> you want nice cold beer? Oh, Why did you pour it from the can into the glass? It loses so much to the air. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be nice for a change. Just remember, I hate change. <laughs> Oh, jeez, now I know why you done that little creature boarding your person with the medicine, huh? Come on, Archie, drink it. It's for your own good. I don't want nothing for my own good. Take it into the kitchen there. Spread it around the floor. It'll blind all the roaches. See, come on. No, get it away from me. I ain't taking that medicine. All right, but I'll get it in something. Well, that something's going to be thrown against the wall, so it better not be cream of wheat. Oh, just because you have problems, you don't have to take it out on the family. We didn't cause your unemployment. <sighs> the whole country's got that problem. You want to get mad. You get mad at the guys who are responsible, the guys in the White House. Ah, oh, come on, will you? The White House ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in this country. <laughs> President Ford is supposed to be responsible for the state of the economy, the high cost of living, and unemployment. Will you lay off Ford? He's doing a hell of a good job for a guy that got kicked in the head playing ball. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, wise guy. Between Jerry Ford and Jerry Carter, I know which way I'm going. It's too bad you couldn't vote for your real favorite, Jerry Reagan. <laughs> yes, buddy. Yes, yes. Tell you something else about this guy, Carter. He takes that big smile out of his face every night and puts it in a glass. Gosh, he doesn't have false teeth. Oh, 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 Joe Foley told me he read that in the National Enquirer. The only paper you read the truth nowadays. I'll tell you another thing that was in there. If Carter becomes president there, he's going to sell more wheat than ever to the Ruskies. Why? So the Ruskies will make more bread than ever. Why? So that Carter can sell them the peanut butter to smear on them. I don't want to argue with you, Arch. Maybe by the time Joey's grown up, we'll have an administration that'll listen. I can't wait for that. Meantime, who's taking care of the regular Americans like me, huh? The anglo saxons as opposed to the tennis saxes and the alto saxes? Listen, a colored guy gets in trouble, he runs right away to the NCAAPP. <laughs> Italian guy gets in trouble, he runs over to see the Pope if he can scratch up the airfare. If not, he hops a bus to Jersey to see Sinatra. <laughs> and you do anything to a Jew? Whoa, boy, hey. Israel Air Force swoops down on you and kick it the crapola out of you. <laughs> but who's doing anything for me? Arch, you're not alone. You got me, Ma, Glory, and Joey. Oh, geez, what a backfield. <laughs> Meat-headed dingbat, a woman's liver, and a bald-headed kid. 